Hi, Black Bob families. This is Miss Lashier. Today, I'm going to teach you how to find my virtual music lessons. These will be posted weekly. They have been created for remote only students and for hybrid students to use on the days when they are not in school in person. The first thing you're going to want to do is to turn on your iPad. You'll come to the lock screen, which should have your student's name and their personalized ID number. You can see that I'm using a student iPad, so I've covered up that identifying information. But the first thing I'd recommend you do is write down that username. It is a series of numbers and letters, typically about eight or nine letters and numbers long, and you're going to want to write that down. Okay. Once you have written that down, you can um, swipe up to open your iPad. You'll come to a home screen that might look a little different than this, but pretty similar. And you're going to look for this link right here. This app is called ClassLink. It's the blue one with the white cloud. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to open you to a page that looks something like this. This is where you're going to use that username that you wrote down. So you're going to type the username in. And then underneath in this box, you're going to type the password. If your student is in kindergarten through second grade, your password is 12345, capital A, lowercase bc. And if you're in third grade through fifth grade, your password is 20, capital I, for Indians, and then exclamation point. Once you've typed that in, you're going to push sign in. Once you click sign in, you should come to a page that looks something like this, and you're going to look for this student view app. It's green, and you might need to scroll to find it, but you're looking for student view. So go ahead and click that. Once you click on there, it might bring you to another login screen. If that happens, then you're just going to type your username and password again, the same username and password, but most of those should autofill at this point. So um, you should it should take you just kind of automatically through that process and bring you to a page that looks something like this. Your next step is going to be to look for this little tab on the left side. Um, you're going to look for this one, which is the one that looks like kind of a, a chalkboard with ABC written on it and a little person in front of it. So go ahead and click that. This student is in kindergarten, so this is the class website that that little button will bring him to. Um, so it's going to come to your homeroom teacher's class website, and the way to get to the music classroom is to click on this little drop down um, menu error, arrow. <laughs> so click on that. And that's when you're going to scroll until you can find the one that says Lashier, comma C Vocal Music. So go ahead and click on that. And it will bring you to my music website. Here you can see the um, all my contact information, including my email, my school YouTube account, and my school Instagram account. You can watch videos from here as well. And then at the top is where you'll find your grade level lessons. You can see they're banded by kindergarten and first grade, second and third, and then fourth and fifth. This student is in kindergarten, so this student would come to this lesson right here. They would click on the kindergarten and first grade drop down menu, and then it'll bring up lesson one. And that's the week we're in, so I'll click lesson one. And that will bring me to this page. This is my homeroom classroom, and this is the online virtual music lesson for this week. You can see this week you have three choices for things you can complete. And any of these things should be able, you should be able to click them and it should take you to those, um, those lesson options. You're going to find all your other specials the same way too. So for example, if you wanted to go to the art classroom, you click on this arrow again, you click right back up here at the top, and you'd look for the art classroom, which is right here. So I'd click on art, and that would bring me to Mrs. North's art room. I could do the same to find um, Mrs. Bell's library class. I could click right here. And I could do the same to find Mr. Rance's PE class website. And it should be the same for any other um, classes that your student might be enrolled in. So for any specials or in their homeroom classroom or anything that your student, any teacher or student has contact with, you can find their website from this home page. 
If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm happy to answer any emails and walk you through it. My email is right here. Um, and yeah, I'd be happy to help. So please reach out if you need any help. Thanks for watching this video.